This week on Cannon Hall Farm TV, we're going to catch up with the little baby llama that was born on Sunday. We're going to introduce Dad to our brand new Hebridean tub and we're going to see how good David is at sheep herding. Plus, we're, we're going to put all the rare breed tubs out so we've got little baby lambs for springtime. Right, we've had a wonderful baby llama born on Sunday. He's an absolute smasher. He's doing incredibly well. Mum's looking after him beautifully, but he needs a name. Yeah, so let's put it to uh, our viewers, Rob, a to public, choose a name. Public vote. Yeah, public so vote. I think, <laughs> Come on. I think, yeah, put him down there. I think there Gordon, because David is just like Gordon off Thomas the Tank Engine, aren't you? You're yeah. always busy. You're always sometimes a little bit grumpy. So uh, I'm saying Gordon. Anyway, llamas, a few in interesting facts about llamas. Do you know, do you know some interesting yeah, facts about llamas? They can llamas. spit. Yeah. Well, <laughs> right. Yeah. Also, yeah. right. Uh, they'll live up to about 21 years. Right. Pregnancy is, is it 11 to 12 months? 11 and a half months. Same as I'm about, I'm about there then. Uh, baby llama's called a career. Anything else? Yeah. Um, they've got banana shaped ears. That's true, that's true. And they're, they're the oldest domesticated animal in the world. Boom. You're full of facts. Well, yeah, well, perhaps. Something. <laughs> <laughs> right, the big day has arrived for our new Hebridean ram that I bought on my own the other day from deepest, darkest Derbyshire. I had a proper road trip. You've seen him, haven't you, Dave? Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a bit of a belter, right? Yeah. But you haven't seen him yet, no, Dave. No, I've, 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 that's a treat to come, haven't Yeah, it? so yeah. I'll go and get him, I'll bring him out. Are you covering your eyes or not? Go on, if put, you want put me your hands over your eyes like that. I will. Right, do. and will count to 100. Let's go and hide. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see out of these glasses anyway, it's that mucky. So can I have a look now? Yes. Oh, why not? What are you waiting for? I can't see a damn thing now. <laughs> All right. You know what do you think? think? Oh, he's pretty fit, isn't he? He's, he's not... Tough. I like his horns as well. Yeah, oh, he's a he's, proper example yeah. of the breed. He's a good lad with that. Yeah, yeah. Well, he certainly smells like a tuff. He does. He stinks. <laughs> I think I'm going to be smelling like a tuff for the rest of the day. Yeah, I, I like him because he's in his working clothes. He's not like somebody who's being got ready for a, a show or anything like that, but he, he looks he looks as if he'd do the job to me. Let him go, David. Here we are. Right then, Dad. What do you think to him? Max out of 10, please. Well, I'll give him 8 out of 10 at the moment. Uh, he'd have got a 10 if he'd have been uh, really sort of got ready for a show, but he's come straight out of the field. He looks he ready for the job, and uh, I think he'll be fine. He looks like, like, like he's framing now, anyway. Well, I think we should give him a little bit of privacy and leave him to it. Right, the big day has arrived for our rare breed sheep. The tups are going in with the ewes, we've got the Herdwick, we've got the Kerry Hill, we've got the Soe, and we've got the Derbyshire Gritson. So today's the day, what do you think, Dave? Sounds like they're raring to go, so yeah. we better get the first one out. We're getting the Kerry Hill first. Um, he's knocking the uh, the trailer to bits. Uh, he, he obviously senses the ladies are, uh, are nearby, and he's, uh, he's wanting to go. Right, the, the rare breed sheep at Tupping Time bring their own challenges. Because we've got so many different breeds, that we've probably got 10 or 12, we need 10 or 12 fields that we can keep secure, make sure the right tups are with the right ewes and that, uh, that the, you know, you know, the, right, um, the right mating takes place. So hopefully these fences are going to be secure. We're going to make sure that we've got purebred lambs at springtime to make sure that these precious rare breeds are, uh, are safeguarded for the future. like Boris Gump. Have you always uh, been the sheepdog of the family, Dave? Well, no, my dad had two sheepdogs, right? He could send them in any direction. They just never went in the right direction. So, obviously, me and Rob had to run round getting the sheep in. Still same to this day? Well, more me than Rob, I'd say, yeah. <laughs> it's the turn of the third week top. And this, this boy really is... Like a character. Spartacus, off you go. Right. I think that's going to be triplets. Right, we've got the Soe Ram, and he's been an absolute bargain. He cost us 18 quid. He's been an absolute belter. He's sired loads of good lambs, and I think he's got uh, another year's uh, work in him yet. Oh, at least. Come on. 
Dad, would you say that sometimes the best things, and I think David would agree with this, come in small packages? <laughs> if you sometimes. were a tub, you'd be a soy. No, no, I wouldn't. no, no, no. no. What tub would you be, Dave, if you were a tub? If I was a tub. <laughs> Belt I think. I don't know. Perhaps, uh, well, uh, Beltex is probably about right. Yeah. What, what would, would you be, Rob? I'd be a Zwartel. Okay. <laughs> Dad? Yeah, I think, I think I'd be uh, a, a Dutch spotted, I think. Okay. Yeah. Why? You're not Dutch and you're not spotted. <laughs> <laughs> that physique, that's all. Right, come on. I'll